Hi everyone, it's Lynn Dion here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today I can't wait to show you one of the brand new sets from Art Impressions. And it was designed for specifically for slimline cards. And it's this adorable little snowman. So let's go ahead and get started. So for paper today we're using the Strathmore Bristol Smooth 100 pound cardstock. And for ink we're using the Versafine Onyx Black ink. Now these are the beautiful Christmas slimline images and you get that tall snowman which is perfect for a slimline card. You get the two little birds and that little bunny as well. And this set also includes the coordinating dies. So we're going to go ahead and start coloring this with the pale pink and the haze blue. And I'm using the Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens to do this. And I'm using my Zig Blender pen to blend this out. So while I continue coloring, I'll just let you know that all the colors I'm using will be listed up in that upper left hand corner as we go along. And they'll also be listed down below as well. But I did want to let you know as part of this brand new slimline series, there are a set of dies for this. It's called the slimline die set and you get a whole variety of sizes and you also get a banner die with that as well, which is really nice for your sentiments. And unfortunately, I didn't have this set when I created this card. That release hadn't been available to us yet. So hopefully I'll be using those dies in an upcoming video so you can see them in action. And then this is the Christmas slimline set. And there's also a Halloween slimline set, which is really cute. It's got a little wagon and the wagon is filled with pumpkins and critters and it stacks up nice and tall for these slimline cards. There's also a little bat hanging upside down, some leaves and a sentiment as well. So that is really cute. And again, that's part of the new collection. So there's some really fun items. And I love that the size is specifically designed for the slimlines. And there's also another series that's brand new. It's called the Rides Interactive Series and it's all these different cute little vehicles. There's a little Christmas truck and that little Christmas truck has some cute little images, a wreath and a little tree and some candy canes. It's kind of a snowy truck. So that's really cute. Then, and that is called the Christmas truck set. Then there is something called the spooky wagon set, which is kind of like an old fashioned antique uh, car. And it's got ghosts and pumpkins and a little black cat. And that is really cute. And then there's the birthday buggy set, which is just a little convertible buggy that has balloons and birthday gifts, cupcakes and candy, little birthday hat. And I will be doing a card on that shortly. So keep an eye out for that. And that one is just really fun, just really bright and cheerful. So what's really nice about this rides collection or these little vehicles is all these little pieces that you get, all the little images that you get, you can mix and match together. So you could put the balloons with the little truck, you could put the pumpkins on the truck or put the little tree in the buggy. So kind of what's nice about these images is all the little extra pieces you get, you can kind of mix and match those. And you all know how much I love to be able to mix and match my sets so that I get a lot more use out of them. So this collection, I think, really lends itself well to that as well. And also, again, as part of the new series, there is a set of dies that are just spider webs, a whole collection of different sizes and shapes which I've never seen before in a collection. I really like this because depending on where you want that web or what direction you want it to face, these webs will are all different shapes and sizes. So they're really perfect for that. And there is also that brand new matchbook Halloween, which I did a card on last week. So you could check that out as well. And if you're not familiar with the matchbook series, it creates a little pop-up matchbook when you open it up, there's a little scene inside and then that little scene folds up inside a little matchbook envelope. And there's several little matchbooks available now. So you may want to check that out as well. And again, I will link all of these products down below for you in case you want to check those out. 
and I'll also have everything on my blog as well. So now I'm just continuing coloring and I know there's a lot of coloring here, but I did want to leave it in because I know a lot of people do like to see it. I did speed it up quite a bit here so that it won't take too much time. Although again, there is quite a bit of coloring. When you see me just kind of dabbing my uh, blender pen off to the side there, I'm just removing ink. If you get too much ink on your blender pen, you can just remove it by scribbling it onto your scrap paper there. And that's all that I'm doing there. And when you change colors, you also want to scribble it on your scrap paper until it goes clear. Then you'll know that it's good to change to your next color. So you can see that I'm just kind of adding some shadows, highlights here. And these are water-based pens, so they're really easy to blend out. And you could also use a water brush here as well, if you prefer that. And I find the blender pen is a little easier when in some of these little tiny images. Really easy to stay in the lines and it doesn't get too wet. The blender pen just has just the right amount of fluid in it. So I'm still working with that mid-brown and that mustard color. Just kind of filling in these shades here. Now I'll switch to that marine green, which is this absolutely beautiful green, and it goes really well with this color combination. And again, I'm just going to kind of add my shadows here and blend that out. And on the scarf, I'm going to just add some shadows kind of in between here, just so it kind of looks like it has a little bit more movement here. But again, I do love this color. I think it's so pretty. So once I use all the colors that I've chosen for my snowman, I will stick to that color palette for the rest of the images, for my little uh, bunny and for the little birds as well. So once I decide on the palette, then I pretty much stick to that palette. And then once we're done coloring, I'll show you how to create that snowy sky. We're gonna have that lantern lit up in the sky. We're gonna create a night sky. And we want to create some light in the sky for our little lantern. And then we're gonna add lots of snow and some sparkle to that background as well. So I'll be showing you that here shortly. Now the yellow and orange, I'm just gonna add a little bit of that light to that lantern, the candle there. And then with the geranium red, I'm going to do this candy cane. And I'm adding that darker color towards the inside of the candy cane, then just pulling that up towards the tops to keep the tops the lightest. And then I'll use a little bit of light gray in between on the white areas, just to add a little shadow there. Now I'm going back to that marine green to do the, the little holly leaves here. And I'll just blend those out from the tip right out to the edges. And then with mid-brown and mustard, I'm going to start to color in my little bunny. And this bunny is just so cute. Again, this could be used for several other cards. And we're gonna add a little bit of a, a fluffy, furry tail here. And I'll show you how we do that here in a second. So I'm using the two browns and just kind of blending it out. And again, I just think this little guy is so sweet. This would go really well with some of the other critters in the Art Impressions line. There's lots of little critters. This would be fun to incorporate with some of your other ones. And you could always remove that little ornament if you wanted to use it on just a generic card. Now here I'm just blending right up to the top of his face. I want to keep the top there the lightest. I'll do the same thing here on the back of his head. Just kind of pulling that color right up towards the top. There I'm just adding a little bit more of that pink in his ears and adding a little more to the cheeks. And here I did add a little shadow to the tail, but that will get covered up later when we add some flocking there. And now I've got the dull blue and I'm going to color this little scarf in. 
and we'll be adding some little polka dots to this later on. So with the white gel pen later on, we'll add a lot of interest to these little images. And now I'm using the wine red on the ornament. And I just want to leave a highlight right at the top of that ornament and a little light gray for the top, the little topper there. So I'm going back to that pale pink and just filling in the little fringe on the scarf and a little bit more on his cheeks. Now I've got the two little birds. I'll just show you how I colored in one of these birds. Again, going back to the pink, got a little bit of orange for the nose there. And then I'm going back to that marine green to do the, the little scarf on this bird. Now I'm using that red again on the little hat. And here you can see I got a little bit of that green on the little band of the hat. So I'm just picking up color and removing it. So it's really forgiving. It's very easy to remove color. So all I'm doing is grabbing that color and then scribbling it on my scrap paper until I get rid of it. So that makes it really nice and easy to do. So we'll just finish coloring in the, the body of the bird here with my two shades of brown. And I colored in the other bird the same way. I just changed the scarf color. And then here I'm using the Uniball Signo white gel pen. I'm going to add some polka dots. I'll add a little detail to the ornament and his mittens. And then I'll just add a few stripes here and there. And I'll add a few highlights as well. So I finished adding all of those little highlights. And now I'm going to add some flocking. This is just a white flocking and I'm using my Nuvo Smooth Precision glue pen to do this. And this has like a pen tip on it so it's easy to get into these little areas. So I'm going to apply that glue and you do want to make sure you stay inside the lines here otherwise the flocking will stick where you've placed the glue. And then I'm going to use my little Nuvo spoon just to spoon that out and then I'll use my finger just to press that in place. Now I'm going to let that dry before I brush any of the flocking away. And flocking will just give us a little bit like a fuzzy, give a fuzzy tail. It's a really kind of fun little texture to add to your cards. So I'll do the same thing for the little pom-poms on the hats. Again, just letting that dry. Once that's dry, I'm going to take a soft brush and then I'm just going to brush away any excess. And then again, that will leave that nice fuzzy tail there. And you can see that up close. So that adds a lot of texture and I'll, I'll do the same thing for the two little pom-poms. Now I've got my Nouveau Crystal Glaze, which is just a clear glaze. And I'm just testing it on some scrap paper just to make sure there's no bubbles in there. And I'll add that glaze to these little buttons. I'll add some to the little berries on his hat and to the candy cane as well. And again, this is just going to add a little bit more dimension here. When I added some to that lantern as well, just to make it look like glass. And then I'm also adding a little bit to that ornament just to give it a little shine. And you can see these up close. So next I went ahead and stamped that sentiment, You Warm My Heart, and I'm going to just create a little banner here. So I'm grabbing that tag die from the gift card holder envelope set. And I'm just going to cut off that one end just so it's a nice straight edge there. Now I'm using the large slim line with sliders dies from Lawn Fawn and my Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock again. I'm going to go ahead and die cut that large stitched frame. I'm just running that through the Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine. 
and it is a little long for the Spellbinders Platinum 6, so I'm just going to slide it down and cut that end there that didn't get cut. So now we have that panel, we're going to go ahead and color in our background. I'm using the Distress Oxide inks and I'm starting with the Squeeze Lemonade. I've placed this on my We Are Memory Keepers silicone mat and that will just kind of hold that ink pad in place while I do my inking. Now I'm starting with just a circle here. I just want to create the light for the lantern that the snowman is holding. So I'm going to create a little circle there. And then I'm using my Salty Ocean Distress Oxide, and I'm going to apply that right up to that Squeeze Lemonade. And I'll go over just a little bit here just to blend those two together. And I'll go back to that Squeeze Lemonade and blend that out a little bit more. Now I'll grab the Chip Sapphire. And we'll start creating more of a night sky here. So I'm going to add those shadows around the sky. I'm going to come up to that salty ocean color, just leaving a little tiny bit of that showing. And now I'll go back and use that salty ocean and blend that together. Then I'll go back to the squeeze lemonade and blend a little bit more. So you want to keep blending this until you get the look that, you, that you're going for. Now I've got the black soot, so I'm going to continue to create that night sky. I'm going to add the black, black soot right around the edges here. Again, coming up now to that chip sapphire color. And again, I'm going to go in reverse order here and blend these colors together. So just keep blending this. You really want to really blend it out to get a nice, smooth effect here. So now I've got that all set. Now I want to add some snow. I'm using the white gesso. I put a little on my glass medium mat, and I'm adding some water from my Distress Sprayer. And I'm going to go ahead and spatter this panel all over, and that'll give the look of snow. And I'm going to spatter it quite a bit. I want a lot of snow in the background here. So I went ahead and continued spattering that. And you can see that up close. And then I decided it needed a little bit of a shimmer. And you can see I didn't, I don't need to do the bottom there because we're going to have these snowy borders. So we'll do that shimmer in a minute. But first, let's grab the slimline stitched hillside borders from Lawn Fawn. And we're going to go ahead and grab that same frame that we used before to create our background. So I'm going to go ahead and die cut this one more time. And I'm going to cut this in half just so it'll fit in my Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine. So we'll have stitching on the bottom and the two sides. And then we're going to create stitching on the top when we add our little rolling hills here. So we're going to go ahead and tape that down with a little bit of purple tape and run that through the die cutting machine. So that'll give us that stitched edge all the way around. And then I'll create the second snowy border. And I'll make that one a little bit smaller than the other one. Just trying to figure out about what size I need that to be. And then we'll go ahead and run that one through as well. So those two will stack up on each other. Now here's where I decided to add those metallic accents. This is the Art Philosophy Metallic Accent Watercolors. I'm adding a little bit of water to this one here. It's kind of a silvery white color. And we're going to go ahead and spatter this panel. And that's going to give a nice shimmer to our background. And hopefully you can see that here. You get that nice sparkle. So once that's all set, I'm going back to these snowy borders and I'm using my speckled egg distress oxide ink and I'm just using a small blending brush here and I'm just going to add a little shadow to the tops of these these snowy borders
And I'll go ahead and do that same thing for this other one. So that's how our card will come together. So let's create the card base. This measures eight and a half by seven inches, and I'm scoring it at three and a half inches. So our card will be three and a half by eight and a half. And this again is the Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock. So now we can go ahead and start assembling our card. I'm going to go ahead and attach this panel using my ATG 700 permanent tape. This is a nice strong adhesive. So I'm going to attach that right to the front of the card. And then I can add my little borders here. So I'm going to add this first one. And then I'm going to determine where this snowman needs to be. I want to make sure that light is kind of in the right area where that lantern is. And then once I've determined that, I can go ahead and attach the little snowman. And then I can go ahead and attach this other border. And I should also mention that off camera, I die cut all of these images. And the dies are included with this set as well. Now for this little bunny, I'm going to pop that up. I'm using some Scotch foam mounting tape. And the sentiment, I'm going to use the foam tape as well. We'll just line that up right along the left hand edge of the card. Now I'll glue down this little bird and he's going to sit right on top of the snowman's mitten there. So now for this other little bird, I'm going to go ahead and pop this one up. So let's add a few little hearts. These are the Fimo hearts from Queen and Company, and I will list all of these products down below and on my blog as well. And I'm just going to add three of these down here. And I'll use my Marvie Jewel Picker to pick those up and my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive to glue those in place. And then I decided to add one more up next to that sentiment as well. So let's take a closer look at the finished card. And we have that cute little sentiment and these, this beautiful snowman. I just think this is so cute. And think of it in other ways. If you don't want to color in the whole snowman, you could possibly just have a little portion of him showing through a window, maybe a circle window or a square. You could also use that little bunny separately as well. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.